welcome back to Gadget Plex. I'm Dave Dufour, and behind me is Phil May, and he's making silly signs behind my head. And uh, we're uh, we're talking about cell phone and boosting that signal. And uh, you can do this at home or on the road with some of the systems that you have at Techno RV. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, very much so. <clears throat> um, you know, we talked earlier about the the, the smaller systems, which were the uh, the Sleeks, which were uh, single user. Uh, you just plug them into the cigarette socket, mm -hmm. have them on the dash, reach out, just just put a little magnet on, on top of the, uh, the the roof of your car, or you know have it um, up high in the in the RV. They're real simple, and then you know you go through um, spending it through more dollars at it, and and you know um, more power, and um, just a little bit more um, involved in the installation. Right. Okay. We have a we have a diagram of a of a, of a house type installation, which uh, which maybe can teach us something that related to the RV type installation as well. Let's take a look at that and kind of walk us through that if you can, Phil. Okay, yeah, this is um, showing what is called the, the Soho, which is a small office or home office installation and is ideal for, like it said, uh, uh, you know, the, like a small um, basement of ground floor of a house. Now, now is, that a real, you can, is that a real technical, is that a real technical term? Because I thought Soho was a part of London from where, <laughs> from where you hail, from whence you it, hail. It is, yeah, it, it is a part of London, but not one that you should probably frequent on your own at night. <laughs> ah, okay, all right. Well, I've heard, I've heard that too. All right. Well, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I did. yeah, no, that's but I had that's to. <laughs> that went to my mind, of course, when I saw this packaging, and yeah, I don't know, with, uh, it's a funny thing. Um, so <clears throat> what this is showing is you've got the, the laptop and the cell phone on the table there. And then just above it, number four, is what looks like a, a, a sprinkler with the little kind of green rain coming down um, <clears throat> is the, the local antenna. Okay. You can think of this as like a little small mini base station. <clears throat> so you're, you're sort of setting up your own little tiny little cell tower or cell um, in, your, in your home or, or RV. Okay. Grabbing that picks the up the signal grabbing the signal from the tower and then just rebroadcasting it inside the house, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Rebroadcasting it and, and taking the return from the cell phones. Now, that's connected up. You can see a little blue wire going up to box number two. And, and that's what we showed um, earlier uh, on one of the segments with the um, kind of like the blue, big blue amplifier box. Mm -hmm. That's what does boost thing. And then the wire, you can follow the wire through to the, uh, the little kind of... Uh, uh, um, a sticker there going through the, the loft up onto you can mount that on a pole or just directly onto the, the side of the house but that's showing a directional antenna mm -hmm. now the good thing about a directional antenna is um, you get uh, more more gain because you can point it in the right direction you, you, you know you, you're not wasting having a, having that signal around the uh, you know that's the good thing about it the downside is that doesn't work very well for a mobile environment like an RV. Okay, um, we, we, so we lost a little bit of that. What you were saying is that you can aim that directly at the, uh, at the source or at the tower and you get much more, a much more direct signal that way, correct? Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, and, and then, but, but don't use this on your RV? No, it's just a little bit too hard. I mean, you, you can if you go to a, um, a, an area with, that you know well. I mean, some RVers will go back to the same site and park in the same place and, and be there. Maybe they have a pad and will be there for, you know, a month, two months, three months. In, in that case, it would work very well. Um, so, you know, may, they may even have a, a, a pole um, or a flagpole that they could mount it on. So um, that, in those instances, it worked well. For somebody who's tends to travel around a little bit more like us, it would just be too hard trying to, um, to turn it around and go up the, climb up the ladder and everything. So in, um, in those sims instances, it's better to have what we call an omnidirectional antenna. And then you don't need to worry. It'll pick up the signal from whichever direction the tower is in. Now, the, 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 the trucker type antenna, that is, a, that is an omnidirectional, I assume? Correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, and I would, one of the things I had I was curious about with the, with the home installation, of course, is uh, do you have to worry about grounding that antenna? Um, no, I think they. <clears throat> I think they have a built-in um, ground. I'd, I'd have to double check on that. I haven't I haven't seen that you need to do anything special um, for those antennas. Okay. All right. The 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 one now, of course, folks who are going to install one of these, they invest in this at home, uh, may want to take it on the road. Is this a practical way to approach it, or, or or can you at least take maybe pieces of it on the road and and uh, and make it work in two different locations? Say if you're you know in Florida six months of the year in in an RV, and then at home in uh, in uh, in the in a northern climb in the rest of the year. 
you, we get asked, asked that a lot on on the booth because, as you say, people will um, you know move backwards and forwards or snowbird, um, and you can indeed take pieces of it. Probably the best thing to do is the the most expensive thing is the amplifier itself. Mm -hmm. So um, you can leave the you know the um, uh, the directional antenna. Um, in its in its place and and the um, the other uh, um, inside antenna and really all you do is you just unhook the um, the cables going into the amplifier and then take that into your RV and then just buy an additional little indoor amplifier for your um, inside the RV mm -hmm. and then an omnidirectional trucker antenna which you just so it's it's really just like you know undoing a couple of screws and, and screwing right. them in once you've done those installations okay so it's a pretty simple operation to at least, least move the most expensive part of it and take it with you and, and, and move back and forth yep okay right. well great well uh, we have uh, we have really covered the uh, covered the gamut here when we're talking about boosting uh, cell phone signals and of course uh, I don't think that this is a topic that we can ever really finish with but uh, I think we're going to, because I think that uh, with every new cell phone and every new technology that comes along, I got to get 4G, Phil. I got to get it. Uh, I, yep, just, I, exactly. just have, I just have this feeling that there's something magic about it that I don't know. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the marketing of everything at you, Dave. <laughs> All right. They, they got me. by They fished me in. Okay. Well, we're going to be back in just a moment with the great unboxing uh, here on Gadgetplex. So don't go away. Got a question or comment for Gadgetplex's Phil May? Send him an email at gadgetplex at rvnn.tv or leave a voicemail for Phil at 877-578-RVNN, extension 703. Follow RV Newsnet on Facebook and Twitter, and you can receive text messages to alert you when we're streaming live by texting RVNN to 72727. That way, you can join us live in the chat room, ask questions, and become part of the RV Newsnet family. Remember, any photos or other material submitted to us become the property of RV News Net and cannot be returned. Today's show is brought to you by Angie's List, where you'll find thousands of unbiased reports and reviews about service companies in your area. Whether you're looking for a roofer, plumber, house cleaner, dentist, or even a doctor, Angie's List members share their experiences with each other so that you can choose the service company that's right for your job. Companies can't pay to be on Angie's List, and the reviews come from people just like you who have had experience with the companies mentioned. To find out more, go to rvnn.tv and click on the Angie's List ad. 